Jeffrey Berman, top federal prosecutor in Manhattan after he refused to resign. Barr says Attorney General William Barr informed Jeffrey Berman that President Donald Trump was removing him from office after the prosecutor refused to resign. President Donald Trump dismissed Manhattan's chief federal prosecutor Jeffrey Berman on Saturday after the prosecutor who had launched a series of criminal inquiries targeting the president's allies refused to resign, Attorney General William Barr said in a letter to Berman. Because you have declared that you have no intention of resigning, I have asked the president to remove you as of today, and he has done so, Barr wrote. Barr said Deputy U.S. Attorney Audrey Strauss would serve as the acting chief of the office until a permanent successor could be seated. Almost as soon as the letter was made public, however, Trump appeared to distance himself from the attorney general's statement, saying that the decision to remove Berman was Barr's to make. I'm not involved. Trump told reporters before departing for a campaign rally in Oklahoma. The action comes after an extraordinary confrontation late Friday night in which Barr first announced that Berman would be stepping down, only to have the prosecutor fire back that he had no intention of resigning his post. The clash thrust the Justice Department into fresh turmoil, raising new questions about its independence from a White House that has sought to remove members of the administration it has cast as disloyal. Unfortunately, with your statement of last night, you have chosen public spectacle over public service, Barr said in the letter, referring to the prosecutor's refusal to capitulate. Your statement also wrongly implies that your continued tenure in the office is necessary to ensure that cases now pending in the Southern District of New York are handled appropriately. This is obviously false. I fully expect that the office will continue to handle all cases in the normal course and pursuant to the department's applicable standards, policies, and guidance. Going forward, if any actions or decisions are taken that office supervisors conclude are improper interference with a case, that information should be provided immediately to Michael Horowitz, the Department of Justice's Inspector General. Barr said he was asking Horowitz to review any claims of improper interference. It wasn't immediately clear whether the latest action would represent the final word on the tenure of Berman because he was not nominated by a president or confirmed by the Senate. And with Trump now distancing himself from Barr, it also wasn't clear who had directed the prosecutor's removal. Berman was appointed as interim U.S. attorney for the Southern District of New York in 2018 by then Attorney General Jeff Sessions following a purge of federal prosecutors in the early days of the Trump administration. When the interim term of 120 days lapsed without a formal nomination by the president, the judges in the New York district exercised their authority to make Behrman's appointment official at least until another candidate is nominated and confirmed. When the interim term of 120 days lapsed without a formal nomination by the president, the judges in the New York district exercised their authority to make Behrman's appointment official, at least until another candidate is nominated and confirmed. Behrman is now leaning heavily on that rarely invoked provision to maintain control over the Justice Department's most prestigious office outside of Washington, D.C.I have not resigned, and have no intention of resigning, my position to which I was appointed by the judges of the United States District Court for the Southern District of New York, Berman said after Barr abruptly announced that the prosecutor was stepping down. I will step down when a presidentially appointed nominee is confirmed by the Senate, he said. The crucial Justice Department office has prosecuted Trump's former personal attorney Michael Cohen and is heading an investigation of the president's lawyer and close advisor Rudy Giuliani. The Giuliani inquiry has focused in part on the former New York mayor's work with business associates Lef Parnas and Igor Fruman, who helped Giuliani seek damaging information in Ukraine about the family of Joe Biden. The former U.S. vice president and presumptive Democratic nominee for president in the 2020 election. A Justice Department opinion, although authored more than 40 years ago, addresses the lines of authority in such unusual cases. It concludes that the president, not the attorney general or a consortium of judges, has the power to remove a U.S. attorney who holds the position by judicial appointment. In such cases, the opinion states, the power of removal may be even more important to the president than the power of appointment. Indeed, it is the power to remove, and not the power to appoint, which gives rise to the power to control, the memo. Some legal analysts, however, disagreed, saying that provisions of the law allowing for the judicial appointments of U.S. attorneys should control. Berman is the acting U.S. attorney by dint of a judicial appointment, University of Texas law professor Stephen Vladek tweeted Saturday. There's a pretty good argument that, 
per the plain language of the law, he gets to keep serving in that post until the vacancy is filled through Senate confirmation of a permanent successor. David Weinstein, a former federal prosecutor in Miami, believed Behrman's interpretation is correct. The Department of Justice opinion is simply that an opinion, Weinstein said, adding that the document is not binding. He said Trump lost his control over Berman when he failed to nominate a candidate during Behrman's interim tenure. This all falls back on the president because of his failure to act, Weinstein said, adding that a resolution may be up to the courts. The urgency of Barr's Friday night action also was not immediately clear. Equally unexpected was the accompanying announcement that Trump intended to nominate Jay Clayton, the Securities and Exchange Commission chairman, who has no experience as a federal prosecutor. Instead, Barr hailed Clayton's management experience and expertise in financial regulation. Until Clayton's nomination is considered by the Senate, the Attorney General said the President was appointing New Jersey's chief federal prosecutor, Craig Carpenito, to take Behrman's place, beginning July 3. Rather than argue that Berman was being removed for cause, the Attorney General lavished praise on the prosecutor, saying he performed with tenacity and savvy. The Attorney General, himself, acknowledged that there was no reason for his removal, Weinstein said. I think we're in for a battle. I think Berman should stand his ground. What does he have to lose? If he does, this could end up in the Supreme Court.